This next story is going to blow your mind in the best way. The average nine-year-old is in the fourth grade working on the basics of math, reading, writing, social studies, but not David Balagoon from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. No, this nine-year-old is already done with his first semester of college and working on becoming an astrophysicist. So how is he doing this? Well, David joins me live now along with his parents, Henry and Rania, to tell us all about it. So excited to meet you all. Thank you for being here. David, I want to start with you. You are the youngest student to ever graduate from your high school. What was that like, graduating at such a young age and now attending college as a nine-year-old? So, I started college. I already finished the semester of college. And when I finally graduated, my mom and me had a back and forth because I'm like, Okay, I graduated. You graduated at the age of nine. So. How did you feel walking into that college classroom, knowing how much younger you are than the rest of your peers? I took online classes, so I didn't go into the actual college classroom. Henry, take me back a little bit. When and how did you and your wife first discover that David was gifted in this way? Uh, when he was uh, little, I mean, like two, three years old, at the age of two, he can recognize some signs, some numbers, some words. And then after that, he started to ask questions, even difficult questions. And you cannot scratch things on the surface, and you just have to go deeper and explain it the way he wanted and once you explain it once, he doesn't want you to go over it again, you know, because even three months after, he remembers. And uh, his, the type of photographic memory he has is so amazing. When he comes with me to my clinic, I have an outpatient psychiatric clinic. He's always asking even everybody in the clinic questions and uh, always looking for answers. That's when we knew that something is in here. Rania, was it challenging to figure out what to do and how to ensure David was getting the education he needs? It required a lot of work, a lot of understanding, a lot of research, a lot of knowing. And his, as his curiosity and his knowledge becomes uh, deeper, I am starting to hit the limits on some things and I cannot help him with. <laughs> I think a lot of parents can relate to that, uh, but not quite at the same level that you're experiencing. So David, where's that curiosity leading you now? What do you hope to do next? Well, there are a few careers that I wanted to look into. Astrophysics, chemistry, nuclear chemistry, rocket engineering, robotics engineering, engineering, and software development and website development. Difficult subjects, no doubt, but something tells me you will pull it off just fine. David, Henry, Rania, thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank and you congratulations. very much. Thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.